Pulse. The normal adult pulse rate ranges between 60 and 100 beats per minute. The site most commonly used for taking pulse is the radial artery, found in the wrist, on the same side as the thumb. It is felt with the first two or three fingers, never with the thumb, and usually taken for 30 seconds multiplied by two to get the rate per minute. If the rate is unusually fast or slow, however, count it for 60 seconds. The apical pulse is more accurate measurement of the heart rate, and it is taken over the apex of the heart by auscultation using the stethoscope. It is used for patients with irregular heart rate and for infants and small children. Respiration. When measuring respiration, respiratory characteristics such as rate, rhythm, and depth are taken into account. Rate is the number of respirations per minute. The normal range for adults is 12 to 20 per minute. One inspiration inhale and one expiration exhale counts as one respiration. It is counted for 30 seconds multiplied by two or for a full minute. Some rate abnormalities are the following. Apnea. This is a temporary complete absence of breathing which may be a result of a reduction in the stimuli to the respiratory centers of the brain. Tachypnea. This is a respiration rate of greater than 40 minutes. It is transient in the newborn and may be caused by the hysteria in the adult. Bradnipia. Decrease in numbers of respirations. This occurs during sleep. It may also be due to certain diseases. Respiratory rhythm refers to the pattern of breathing. It can vary with age. Infants have an irregular rhythm while adults have regular. Some abnormalities in the rhythm are the following. Chinny Stokes. This is a regular pattern of a regular breathing rate. Orthopnea. This is difficulty or inability to breathe unless in an upright position. Depth of respiration refers to the amount of air that is inspired and expired during each respiration. Some abnormalities in the depth of respirations are the following. Hypoventilation, state in which reduced amount of air enters the lungs, resulting in decreased oxygen level and increased carbon dioxide level in blood. It can be due to breathing that is too shallow or too slow, or to diminish lung function. Hyperpnea, abnormal increase in the depth and rate of breathing. Hyperventilation, state in which there is an increased amount of air entering the lungs.